not enough. Mm -hmm. uh, we shall see. We shall see. We've got a downtown area. Even <laughs> <laughs> destination business. Yeah. The destination so business. Our, our, uh, <laughs> medical, <laughs> our medical facilities can only go in an industrial district. So how, how is that? You mean that? a medical, a general medical facility, no, not counting cannabis? For the cannabis medical can only no, go in an industrial district here. Okay. So, and is that kind of, I mean, do we need to retake a look at that? It, it, or is this going to be, you know, is that just not going to, we I don't know. know. I, I, don't I don't see a medical one going here either, but is that going to look odd if we have a medical one in an industrial district, but yet we have well, we a recreational it. one we in a business district? We should change to make that, it the same. Yeah. That requirement, yeah. yes. If we're going to change that requirement for the adult use cannabis dispensing organization, that's right. the, the other one. But, um, you know, like I said, I, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's competing interests here. One is, obviously, uh, if, you, if, if you have one, you want the tax revenues. It, you know, that's right. the purpose of getting it. So you want them to be selling a lot of it, I guess. I, I mean, that's the... That's kind of the thing that gets me, you know, okay, well, we'll do it. Do you, uh, on, on the other hand, I think people that are going to be buying this will go where it is. Right. You, you know, I, I right. think they would drive to an industrial you know, location, location just, just as easily as they would a, a B3. And the way that we're operating right now with the downtown and the close proximity of the residences and everything, you know, it may not want to have one on Main Street. That you have to decide, you know. We've got, we've got the zoning map over there, you can see, you know, where you might want it. Then, you know, the other people are talking about, I know some of the other folks have talked about, like, you've got Governor's Highway. They allowed it on, you know, like a, a main thoroughfare like that in, like, a shopping center or a, they, they've done that, thinking that that's, that makes sense to them, mm -hmm. too. Could we work on that, the zoning and yeah. the committee level? Yeah, I think so. That'd be fine. If, if they... No, I mean I think that's that's perfect. I mean that's the next step. We've got to mm -hmm. we've got to kind of drill down into it and make a determination of the parameters we're going to put on it with the zone. Like I said, some of the basics. I I heard enough of this. I think I can okay. get pretty good. You can you can look at those. What is what's on governors? What what are we zone there? It's all B3. Yeah, it's all B3? Yeah. Because downtown's B1. Mm -hmm. yeah. all the red is B3. And then the purple's the I. Purple's the I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I've got the map in here. All right. Well, we'll continue to work on that. And uh, once we kind of work through some of that, we'll bring it back to the board. Right. Any uh, no no press present uh, correspondence communications petitions. Uh, can I have a question, Amy? Did uh, anything ever happen with the old bank building? Did you ever hear that that got sold? The you know old rising store slash bank. No, it hasn't come up often yet. Okay. But we did uh, something interest in it, an inquiry, and interest. Okay. from um, an investor. And then. Um, any update on the truck stop? Everything's moving yeah. forward with that? Yeah. Okay. He just dropped off his building permit plans today. He okay. stopped by and we talked. And we still have some, you know, still working through sure. the, okay. the project. So it's moving forward. Um, and then just for everybody on the board to know, on the 24th, we're having an AOC meeting. So next Thursday. And uh, one of the topics is... Um, we're going to be talking about the uh, police pension fund. And, um, I don't know if everybody's aware, but you know, the, there's a push now uh, to combine all the police and fire pensions into two 
funds. And uh, I think basically it, was, it just would allow you to get a better um, investment return if you've got, you know, a few billion dollars together instead of our just one million. I mean, mm -hmm. we'd still be underfunded, but at least we'd be able to get a better rate on it. So it sounds like they're going to push that through relatively they're, they're, soon. They're pushing hard on it. Yeah. <laughs> Is that kind of a good chance? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think so. The, the Chiefs Association, Police Chiefs Association is for it. Uh -huh. Fire Chiefs Association, Police and Fire Chiefs Association, IML, Illinois Municipal League. For it. So we might just want to sit tight until that all flushes through. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, it's it's definitely positive and going in a positive direction. I still think we need to have an actual local strategy, mm -hmm. like a revenue strategy, to dedicate revenue strategy. Uh, we we need to be proactive for sure. But as far as uh, we, we can't meet the threshold to get better rates of return on, on the investments because it's so low. But so that definitely is a piece that is going to definitely help us. Mm -hmm. but, but we need to look at other ways we can do better, for sure. So, so that's Thursday, what time? Thursday, uh, 6.15? 6 right? So, yes. Mm -hmm. Very Thursday, odd time. Oh. I just thought today was Thursday. Thursday, 6.15. Right? Next yes. week. The 24th. That works. That works for you, right? Yeah. We'll make it work. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Anything else from the board? If not, a motion to adjourn. Motion. Second? Second. Okay. Motion by Trustee Parker, or second by Trustee Bell. Parker. Yes. Alden? Yes. Kim? Yes. Marekka? Yes. Mark? Yes. The meeting is adjourned.